Hello and welcome to this Flowline video where I'll show you how to play around with the settings for the totalizer. So straight away you'll notice we're on totalizer 1 and we have a total of 21,497. So in this demo we'll change this to meters cubed. So what we do to enter the setup mode is we press and we hold the top left button for around about 2 to 3 seconds and it will ask us for the password. So we press the padlock key to get a cursor under the leading zero, and then we press the change key to change that to a one. And when we've got that saying 1000, press the padlock key again, and it will tell us that we are in the settings mode, and it will go to basic settings. We'd like to drop into basic settings, so we press the padlock key again. Now we're in the basic settings, we press the top middle key till it says totalizer, and once it says totalizer, we drop into totalizers. We've now got the choice between totalizer one and two, but we're going to change totalizer one. So we will just press the padlock key again. Now here we can choose the unit and the number of decimal places. So to start making changes, we press the padlock key. We should see the uh, cursor appear underneath the X there under the decimal place. And we can use the change key to move that around, should we want to. And as we move into meters cubed, let's go with one decimal place. So we'll leave one X after there. Now we press the middle uh, bottom button to move us over to the units. Now the cursor is under the units. Uh, we'll press the change key until we get the unit that we want. So we're going for meters cubed, which if I remember correctly, is quite a few presses through. There are lots of units available. There we go, meters cubed. So when we're happy with that we press the padlock key again to lock that change in. We're not going to change anything else today so once we've finished making changes we can just press the top left to come out and all the way out. You can now see the totalizer has changed to 21.5 and it's meters cubed. I hope this video is useful.